I'm going to jump in right now and build this simple high par structure. So far in this NDN file, I've set up my units and libraries, I've set my grid, and I've put some initial nodes on that grid. The first elements I want to add to our model are our tie cables at each end of the structure. So I'm going to come over here to project, select cables, and then I want to project them six meters in the Z direction. I just enter six, click on each of my nodes, and there I have my six meter tall tie cables. Next, let's go in and add the struts that connect these cables. So I'm going to click add element. This time I'm going to click strut. And then I'm just going to trace out where I want my struts. There I've got my two struts. Now let's go in and put a work line outlining the perimeter of where my membrane will go. So again, I'm going to come over to elements and add element. This time I'm going to select work line. And then I'm just going to trace my work line. All right, there we go. Now, one thing I notice here, I do want to move these nodes a meter off the ground. I don't want those directly on the ground like I currently have. This is not a big issue. I don't have to delete anything. All I need to do is come over to my node commands and click move. I want to move these one meter up, so I will just put one meter in the Z direction, click on each node, and they move automatically. All right, so now we've got our outline, we've got our struts, we've got our cables. Now I'll go in and I will apply a membrane to a quarter of this structure, and then I'll mirror it once, and I'll mirror it again to get our full structure. The first thing I need to do to apply my membrane is first I need to get a node at the centroid of my work lines. So to do that, we'll come back over here to the node area and click Insert. When you click on insert, you can see that centroid is selected as the default. So with that being the case, all I need to do now is click on my four corner nodes, right click, and as you can see, I get a new node right at the centroid of my structure. To build my membrane, I'm going to come over to the build section of the model environment and click on generate, membrane, and then set my membrane details. I think it's going to look best for this model if I set my warp and fill segments to 8. I'm going to leave everything else set as the defaults. So to apply my membrane, all I need to do is work in a counterclockwise direction and click out the path of where I want my membrane to go. And as soon as you close the loop, it automatically generates. So here's my membrane. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror it once, mirror it again, and get my entire membrane. Come over to mirror, and now select three nodes to create a plane to mirror the structure about once, and then select three more nodes to mirror the structure a second time, and I now have my complete membrane. The next thing I want to do is apply geodesic elements to the first side of all of my membrane elements. This will help keep the membrane nice and organized once it's shaped. So to do that, all I need to do is come over to apply. This takes me to geodesics, first side, that's all I need. I'll hit next, all, and now geodesics, which are these green lines. I'll turn off the membrane so you can see it. There are my geodesics, have been applied to the first side of every one of my membrane elements. Lastly, let's replace the work lines around the perimeter of our membranes with edge cables. So to do that, I'm going to delete all of my work lines, work lines all, they disappear. Now I'm going to trace cables around the perimeter of my membrane. Using the trace feature, cables will allow you to click on your starting point, your end point, and it automatically places cables at the same number of intervals as your membrane. So I can run around my structure and click on all of the edges. And just like that, now I have edge cables around the perimeter of my structure. Now we're ready to create our layers and shape our structure.